Welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva. We're at the ITU headquarters, which is buzzing with activity. And I'm joined right now by Elenia Sinel, who's actually the founder of Acorn Aspirations, which is basically getting young people to work with AI and develop projects with it. Young people, specifically teenagers, I understand. Absolutely. So we work with ages 12 to 18. Boys and girls, always mixed, always come from different backgrounds, ethnic backgrounds, um, income backgrounds, and it's just a joy to watch them work together and develop solutions to real problems. How, how do you find them and who do you choose and why? We find them locally. Well, these days they find me. They find us through Eventbrite. Um, we have got a very active Facebook page, very, very active on social media. Word of mouth always works um, because a lot of uh, parents still underestimate um, what is really happening with the world at the moment, particularly how AI or technology is affecting the world. So they don't often see the value in kids learning to create with technology. And so very often what happens is moms or dads um, call their friends and say, oh, there is this incredible uh, initiative that's happening. Um, my kid is going, come as well. And it's just a real community spirit. People tell one another and we get together and build stuff. But Schools are in support, we're reaching out to private schools that um, send their kids to events that pay and then we reach out to state schools who send kids that don't pay and we also have kids who are homeless or dropped out or deprived in one way or another who we offer this opportunity also completely for free because we do want to change lives first and foremost. Um, but, I mean young kids obviously know how to would use social media in a heartbeat, surely AI would come naturally to them? Um, yes and no. Um, I think they are natural di uh, uh, digital natives, but that doesn't mean to say they understand how to use technology to actually create and solve problems. Um, the problem we're facing right now is schools are not really teaching them the fundamental skill of learning to learn or adapting to what's really happening in the world or creating that technology. So although they really, really call it using that technology, uh, when it comes to solving problems, they sometimes wonder, you know, uh, why should they do it and how should they really do this? So in a, in a scenario like a hackathon or a boot camp, we surround them with a lot of mentors who guide them through the process of design thinking, uh, through marketing marketing, uh, business models and technology as well. So they get to do stuff they never do at school and the essence is really let's find a problem to solve, let's use technology that you are using all the time but let's use that technology to solve that problem and with AI there is so much scope to use data sets that are available for instance within the UN that they could really take and play with it and do something fascinating. So I'm really looking forward to the upcoming Accelerate and Bootcamp we're going to be running at the Hackathon and see what we will really produce. Last year was fascinating, this year we, we never know what will happen but something incredible always happens. And finally, why here? Why your presence here? Uh, here, uh, well, the ITU and the UN learned about the new initiative that I'm launching, which is called Teens in AI, and it's teensinai.com. Um, and they've learned that I will be running uh, the next um, boot camp and hackathon in artificial intelligence. We will also be running the accelerator in the summer. And they asked me, wow, we didn't realize this is possible, that there are teenagers who can do AI. Can you please come and talk to us about it? And so I came with a teenager, Sarah, who's not here anymore, but she was here yesterday on an educational panel, and we spoke about how we have been doing this for over three years now. We've worked with over 1,500 kids uh, from across London, but also running events simultaneously in Afghanistan, in Chile, and two places in the States. Um, and there is a lot of interest globally at the moment in how can we empower the young people to change the world around them. Um, so this is just a fascinating um, topic and it's a fascinating time to do this. Uh, there is a lot of experts in the AI who are supporting this. We're collaborating with Hanson Robotics. We were even interviewed by Sophia yesterday. Yes, so Sophia might, might well be taking on your job soon. <laughs> so just warning you, she's actually quite good at asking questions. Um, and we are also collaborating with XPRIZE, so we will have XPRIZE hopefully even at the hackathon. 
uh, we will see whether we could get teenagers to develop something and enter them into X Prize. That will be quite amazing because they do have the wild card um, until September. So hopefully that will happen. Um, then another competition they're running is with avatars, and this is something kids are so really interested about: robotics, avatars, um, haptics, uh, tactile um, internet. You name it, they have got you know fascination in all of these subjects and um, right now they're in that position where they can talk about it and so I'm trying to also encourage um, this conference to invite more teenagers next year so that when we're at the AI for Good Summit next year we have more teenagers visiting to listen to the conference but also participate in panels and I think other conferences should take suit as well because teenagers are the ones that will create change um, in the world and they should be part of all of those conversations whether it's to do with AI or VR or anything else. Fascinating. Elena Sinel, the founder of Acorn Aspirations. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay.